Hi there and welcome back to Japan where today we're going to be discussing the new song by Trident which is called Versus and by Versus I mean like VS, you know, one person against another person, not Versus as in the thing that the song actually has. Now of course if you've been following this channel for more than five seconds you'll know that I am actually quite a big fan of this band. Well, as much as a fan as you can be of a band who've only just been in existence for a short while. And I remember reviewing them before with the whole previous Girls Rock Band in my phase. I've been pegging them as a real hope for the future. In fact, saying that, in my opinion, they sound like the natural follow-up to what Bandmate have been doing. It is very loud in this area, so let's see if I can get outside to continue. Better. So, with this being the case, I obviously was very much looking forward to their new song coming out as it did very recently. And it is also something that is best looked at in context, because this is not just any old single. This is a song that is a theme tune to, if I get this correct, a sports online gaming league? You can tell how down with the lingo I am. Anyway, I'm in a quiet area now so I can reveal my face. So with this being a song that has that context, they were going for a sound that was clearly very sort of big, dramatic, mid-tempo, booming, thumping and anthemic, which is where you get the wah thing going in as well. Now that has obviously left this song with some rather interesting company, and one of the songs that came to mind when I was listening to this was No More No More by Brats. You might not have heard it, but it's a similar sort of thing. It's the big, thumping, floor-stomping, anthemic type of song. But see, this was more of a comparison of differences than similarities. See, as arresting as No More No More is, whether you've heard it or not, it's a pretty much by-the-numbers sort of mid-tempo, floor-stomping, anthemic song. It's got the big chorus, it has got the heavy beat, you can't avoid bobbing your head along to it, and you will find yourself singing along as well. However, it doesn't do anything unexpected. Whereas when we're looking at verses, we're looking at a song that actually takes a very familiar formula that often doesn't provide many surprises, and they do something a bit different. And that both leads to the strongest and the weakest points about verses. So what are those two points? First of all, let's talk about those strengths, because as you'll probably not be surprised from what I've been saying up until this point, one of the biggest strengths of this song is just how dynamic it is. Now when we're talking about these big, anthemic, sing-along, choral-style, foot-stomping, head-banging songs that are usually appropriate as like sports themes, there's a lot of traits that we expect from that, and most of them are unfortunately relatively predictable, which is why a lot of the time you feel like you're ticking off the list with these types of songs. And so, you know, that's not too surprising when, like I say, these songs are supposed to be ones which get everyone together behind the atmosphere. They can't exactly be trying to shake off the audience every five seconds with clever tricks. However, I like how this song, Versus, manages to both keep those main qualities, you know, the quality of being heavy, head stomping, and also having, well, foot stomping, head banging, head stomping sounds really bad, um, but manages at the same time to do that whilst throwing every trick at the book to be interesting in the spaces in between. You'll notice that you still get that heavy kick at the beginning of each beat, but at the same time the beat itself keeps on changing things up. You get a real good thump there, but the bass line is always shifting. The guitars are heavy, but you notice that the guitar lines themselves aren't overly consistent. Even in the choruses, things seem to change almost every time round. This clever layering in the arrangement, this ever-shifting dynamic of what's going on in the spaces in between, means that the song stays interesting and engaging whilst also being something that is easy easy enough to follow and easy enough to recognize for its intended atmosphere. So at this point you're probably well within your rights to say, well where's the downside then Howard? You're saying that it ticks all the boxes of all the things that it should do and at the same time manages to throw in some clever intricacies and things that we don't often see from this type of song. Well. I'm going to go for the contentious point here and say that this type of song, the biggest thing it often comes up against is that it has to be, you know what I'm going to say, really catchy. Now, the problem we've got here is that they've managed to do all the complicated bits, but I feel that the song, as engaging as it really is at the time, doesn't stick with you. Yes, you can see where it's going to go tonally. Yes, you can follow it. Yes, you can bang your head along to it. But really, the only thing that makes you want to sing along and really get roused up into the actual melody is the whoa bit. And that in itself is not the most interesting little melody they threw in there. It's actually a tad lackluster. Now, of course, the song is played with fantastic energy. The production's really nice on it as well. It comes across with so much vim and enthusiasm. And that's also backed up by on top of that, having that wonderful arrangement we were talking about, which is so enthusiastic. But 
unfortunately it just feels like the melody isn't quite there. It's not bad, it does work with the arrangement, but it doesn't have the rousing effect and it doesn't have the memorable effect and the result is, is that the song is very clear on its tone but doesn't stick in your head. It's very easy to follow but it's not so much one that's going to get stuck in your head. And yes, I know these are such disposable qualities to talk about when I've already basically heaped so much technical praise on this song. But at the same time, we have to be as honest about what we're doing here as they are in the titling of their video, in which they very, very proudly both called the song Versus, a sports term, and also talk about the uh, online game sports thing, League, that is the theme tune for. And this brings me back to my No More No More comparison. I can't help but feel that No More No More ends up being the more rousing one. Even though it doesn't have the same sports affiliation, it's the one that certainly gets you more pumping your fist. It's not as good a song. It gets tiring after re-listens because of the fact that it doesn't have as much musically going on and so does kind of wear thin quite quickly by comparison. But after I listen to verses, I did put on No More No More. If Trident had taken the same skill that they'd used to make the music so engaging and so interesting and stop it getting tiring and applied that to a chorus as catchy as Bratz's chorus and then rewritten that in a way that stopped it getting too repetitive, maybe made the chorus melody a little bit longer, they would have ended up getting the best of both worlds. So yeah, for me, I just feel that this song was one killer chorus away from being like the ultimate anthemic foot stomper. And that does leave you with a little bit of a hole when you listen to the song, a little bit where you're like, so close, so close. But as I say, I totally admire the song. And to be honest, this is a band who I'm still really rooting for, really enjoying. I, I've said this before with Girls Rock Band Kakume when they were doing that, that they sounded like a band who hadn't quite found their sound. And now they have found their sound. And I believe they're currently in the phase of perfecting it. They're currently in the phase of learning how they want to be who they are. And they're doing a great job. So even the smallest of criticisms shouldn't be taken too strongly in this case. Wow, it's dark here. So I'm gonna finish by standing in this little bright stairwell and summing up by saying, yeah, this is a song that maybe is not gonna stick with me forever, but it certainly has me continuing to be really excited about the future of Trident, and certainly thinking that they're showing a lot of different things. They're showing a lot of different styles. I really like that. I also really like the fact that, as I say, they're not lazily churning out styles of music. They're really putting their own mark on everything they do. So I'm really excited for more Trident. I'm certainly going to be giving this song a lot more listens, even though, like I say, I don't think it's going to stick with me forever. It's certainly still a great little song. So all that's left now is to give it a metaphor. Versus is that Uber driver who gives you all of the paper towels when you get into the car and asks you exactly what temperature you want the car to be and make sure that everything is perfect to the degree where you might be thinking, ah, oh, this is a little bit too much, or you might just be, wow, good attention to detail. What score you give it off the back of that? Your decision. So there you go, and I look forward to seeing your comments on this video because all opinions about music are subjective after all, so share yours and let's get this conversation started. A big thank you to anyone who likes or subscribes or follows any of the social medias linked in the description below. An even bigger thank you to our Patreons, who of course keep this channel running because no adverts, but not monetized. And a final special thank you to you for making it through to the end of this video. So until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one of these, for now, Ciao, ciao.